subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! How far can a 400 pound man drive a golf ball? Right guys, so we've decided to do a little new series, Tom versus Luke. So here we are outside uh, the pro driving range in Inverness City. We're going to see how far we can drive a ball. I can't even hold the golf bag, so hopefully I can do good. It's a bit dusty, Tom. You haven't been using this for a while, have you? This has been uh, six years ago. So I don't, we haven't looked. I'm going to have a check. You know, what's the longest drive in history? Two seconds. Let me just check. 600 longest, yards, Tiger Woods, longest 2008. golf drive. Mike Austin holds a world record for the longest drive. It's tough, that's. In professional playing, so... So he says 515 yards. I think we could beat that today. They've got little chips in the balls that will calculate how far we're going, the speed of the ball. So I'm interested to see who can strike their balls the I'm hardest. I'm actually left-handed and use right-handed clubs, so I've got a disadvantage. But we'll see you inside. Let's go. Been waiting here about 20 minutes now. Tom's nowhere to be seen. He's polluting a toilet doing a jobby. So it turns out it's not just in the gym he does a wee nervous poo before he starts, it's when he's playing golf, so. I'm ready. How are you? Sorting the balls. What's that you got on? Sweat pan, uh, sweat bands, because I'm going to be a big sweaty bandit and beat him. We're going to go through all the clubs, pitching 9876543, uh, 5 wood, 3 wood driver, and to see who wins overall the longest drive on each of those clubs. So, the winner will have the most points. Let's do some stretches. It's now I'm warm, let's go. Come on, who's gonna win? Big T, man's not hot. Three shots each of the pitching wedge. Yeah. Luke gets his three shots first, his longest one. First. Wins. Start game, who's yeah, first? first. Right. Look at this, 110, 11, 12 yards. 111 yards. 12 yards. Right. Watch this, guys. <laughs> look at the screen, look at the screen. Oh, she's a roller. <laughs> oh, that was decent. Very surprising with a pitching wedge, 112 yards. I think that's the longest I've ever hit a golf ball in about six years. So. I didn't get on too well, but I'm just warming up. So we got two more shots left of the pitching wedge. See if Luke can come back, but who's winning? <laughs> I am winning with 141 yards with one shot left on the pitching wedge. Still long enough. Oh, they've all been over a hundred yards. Oh, wow, you beat me. Did you guys really think I'd let Tom beat me? I'm just playing, y'all. Pitching wedge, finished. What, how many yards? 140. Doesn't matter one. how many yards, because I got further. Next club up is a one up from that. Just hit it, Simon. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh. On the computer there's like a, a, a inbound section. And then if you go out of that, the lines, it's out of bounds, so it's a no ball. So it's harder because Luke just got 180 yards, but it didn't count, so because of that The pressure's for tyres. Two clubs down, Luke won the first one with the pitching wedge, I won the nine iron. Now we are on to the... Acht. That's German for eight. Acht. Oh, I've got way too left. Oh, Getting a bit tired now. People's elbow, you can't see me. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, it's in. It's got the longest one, so it's 159. 159 yards, which is a winning shot, but... We're going to go one more and hit 200 yards. 
So guys, we're on to the 7 iron. At the moment it's 2 to me, 1 to Tommy. Can Tom come back? Yes he can. Six iron, let's get interesting. Oh. Three two to Tom Stoughton. Five iron to go. This is gonna go two hundred plus by me. If I sorted my foot, so the stance was to the left a wee bit, just went down straight down the middle. I'll talk. Talk. Oh, but it's actually it's for a 210 yards. Free take. It's not a free take. <laughs> Tiger Woods. Go on Tiger Woods. <laughs> His last shot counted huh? <laughs> Faded over this. Playing well up in there Leap. Just put a peach of an effort in there. Put a little bit of a fade on it to the right. Just made it come back in nice and gradually. Landed the pretty much centre of the fairway. Setting myself up with a good second shot going into the green. Ready for my birdie. So I won basically. 5-4 and it's now driver and putter to go. Now we've got the big dog. Oh, it's so big. Oh my days. It's called the Super Try. It's big, beautiful, and bodacious. Let's go, Tom. We're not doing that out of bounds, that's stupid. We're just going for big drives with a big dog. It's five all. The only way to settle this is by, this. by the Rossi putter. This is my putter as well, so I'm used to this week. Tom's left left handed putter. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> I made it on. Well, that's the least you do this, right? I mean, to beat Luke. Hey guys, I felt a wee bit bad for Tom because he's crying that he got beat again, so we're going to use a pitching wedge. But I did get the longest drive, so that's doesn't matter. Have won. And we're going to be aiming for the middle red square. You see that, sir? Ten points if you make it land in, and no other points if you don't. What up? <laughs> Feels good to be a winner. First Tom versus Luke challenge. Pretty chuffed. Pretty happy. So guys, I'm the loser in the first Tom versus Luke. Unfortunately I lost to this guy in golf. Oh, I'm very sad. But now we're gonna go get some cheeky food, some Nando's, and then we're training later on. So this is a good little warm up for us. So and what would you like to see the next challenge be? I actually did very proud of myself because you got the longest drive. Right then. I hit a ball good. So good. I didn't want like Simon. So uh, anyway, we are now in Nando's getting fed and watered for uh, our training session later. Tom's got a secret spicy bit of chicken in his food. <laughs> so, I will try and gym if there's any spicy in my food. This will be the last time you see one of these three people on this table. Hopefully the Mulligan brothers are still alive. I've not heard from them for the last 24 hours. So if you watch this, guys, please comment and uh, 
That Tell was your right. yeah. Don't die. Because <laughs> William and Jordan. <laughs> Jeez. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, girl. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm just sleeping. Hard, hard day losing at golf. Right, it's 7 p.m. and there's no sign of uh, Luke Stoltman. Oh, did you hear that? There's him. He's coming fast and really late. So what we did last night, are you doing heavy? I do three sets of five at 360. I have to try that. How about you Luke? Wait, how heavy are you going? Yeah, like 340, not, not for fives. Threes, I'd just to stick to threes. Get my strength up a wee bit here and then work on some conditioning after it, I think. So yeah, 340. Maybe 400, I don't know. Let's see. The 50s are a bigger diameter in the competition style plate, so it just puts you off a little bit. Um, it's, just, it's just a fractured wee ball here, but it's better just to keep everything kind of uniformed and the same. So, this is more competition style standard that we're going to be doing. It was okay, I mean I was going to go heavier but just needed to do a little bit of uh, conservative work tonight, so more speed stuff, uh, back up to 300 and back down for a few sets of 260, just singles. Body's feeling a little bit battered after golf, obviously hitting about a 10 million yards like I did today takes it out of you, so that's a learning curve. Tiger Woods, I feel your pain, don't do deadlifts after you play golf, so there you go, unless you're Tom. Today I'm going to try 5 rep 360. My goal is to hit 400 for 5 before World's Strongest Man, so uh, if I get this for 1, 2, 3 sets, who knows, it might happen, but uh, let's get the first set over with first. It was a bit easier than I thought. Uh, it's still hard, you know. I'm, I'm uh, training so hard for World's Strongest Man, and uh, that's the goal. So I'm not going to let any rep fail, I'm not going to miss any sets. So uh, set two, and let's see how we go. I'm buggered. Do you want to hear that's my first kind of rep heavy deadlifts in four or five weeks and um, you know what my goal is to hit 400 for five before Worlds so I know that kind of any rep deadlifts I'll be fine with doing some 18 inches as well so that'll start next week but everything's ticking up you know I had a brutal event session yesterday so to come in here and hit 360 for two sets of five is Pretty happy with, you know, Sundays I usually chill, but geez, I can't really breathe, you know, so. But I'm happy and uh, roll on next week and then roll on the week after, then roll on Worlds. What are we doing next, mate? Uh, vertical jumps. Swipe up. <laughs> That was
was like. That's my vertical jumping, Dan. You know, people ask me why I do this, but it's explosiveness. It's really uh, just getting everything engaged and all the fast twitch fibers going and helping the explosiveness off the floor, deadlifting, stones, loading everything. So very beneficial to add to your training. Uh, so I got this truck simulator from Old Hannigan in Romark in America. So basically, obviously it's hard to get access to a truck. So this is what you pull on, right? So there's a rope here that has tension. This thing that's onto, <laughs> onto the wall is if you click it, you can click it left for releasing it to make it easier. You can click it right to make it harder. So what you do is you tie this around, you pull it and see look, that's how it's going there. This way. So basically what this does is it keeps the friction the whole time. So if when you pull in a truck, you get the wheel start mo using momentum. What is this? There's no momentum. So you literally have to keep pulling it through and through and through. And when you stop, it'll stop. There's not a truck that can roll another two meters. So this is really beneficial to get kind of the technique of the truck pull, keep the strain the whole time. So yeah, I'll give it a go. We're going to put it on a high level and pull it probably five meters to get the start of a trap hill to see how it goes, if I know how to set it up. So this is probably the world record trap pool, so instead of one person, Tom and I are going to do it together. So this is brothers take on the world's heaviest truck pool. Do it like this. It's not moving. It comes off. Off loop, ready? Come tingle, ready? Ready, ready, go. World record in the log pool there, two meters and uh, 20 seconds. Well, there we go, just got to get the right, the right height and it's fine. <laughs> it's just the right height when it comes out. <laughs> That was a wee bit of skipping. Tom had a good session there. Good chat. Uh, so that's deadlifts done, bit of back accessory stuff. I went very light tonight. Body's feeling a little bit broken. Like Tommy smashing out 360 for sets of five. Hi guys. Hi guys. Machine. Good chat tonight, Tom. Tired now. Tired. So that's it today. Hope you enjoyed. Our little day today, did a bit of golfing, a little bit of eating, a little bit of sleeping, a little bit of gymming. That's it, job done, and then a little bit of skim skipping to finish off. So, tomorrow we're going to be doing some pressing, we're going to try and get in at a bit of a more decent time so it's not so busy, because it's getting busy up in this Stoltland Strength Centre, so that's good. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> keep watching our videos, keep being spicy. Make us famous. Just do what you do best. And please, guys, keep ringing that little bell. Ding, 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 ding. Tommy, ding, ding. Tommy, Tommy, ding, dong. <laughs>